Let's mix history with geocaching. I'm gonna show you one of mine. Follow me. It's a mystery and to find it you have to answer some questions about frogs. I made this in honor of my mother who died in 1996 and she loved frogs. Everywhere in the house there were frogs in all sizes and shapes. So let's see if we can find it. The coordinates are taking you to this place. And you think, well, that's just a big rock. What are I doing here? I'll tell you what you're doing here. In the Bronze Age, a bunch of people drew some ships or other stuff on the rocks. See one here? There's some cool stuff here too. And some other stuff here. It's something from ancient time. But it's very funny that it's still here. Here in Van Ham we have painted it so it's easier to see. We have quite a few here in Van Ham. There's one big one here. Big ship here. All these drawings, you can read about them here. Anyway, that is not where my geocache is hidden. It's hidden way over there. So let's go see if we can find it. My first plan was to put the geocache here by this little lake where there's usually a lot of frogs. But there's a geocache too close to this place so I had to find another one. And I thought, hmm, what about in these trees over here? That's just enough range from the other geocache. So, closing in. To find my geocache. Can you see it? No? Well. Whoa, there's a frog. Here's my little frog, Kermit. And then you just pull it out and open the lock. I'll put it right back again. Nobody will ever know. <laughs> so that's my geocache, number two actually. I'll show you number one another time. Let me know what you think about my geocache. And subscribe if you don't already do. And then I'll see you another time. Bye!